Oh my goodness, it has been a hot minute since I spoke to you guys. But I'm back with another video, finally. This has probably been the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube and it is primarily because of the topic of today's video, which is a very important actuarial exam. It's SPA, it's time for my SPA retake and I've been really focusing on studying for it in the past few months. I'm feeling incredibly nervous. This is probably the hardest I've studied in many, many years. And honestly, it's unlike me to cut out other things in my life and just focus on one single thing. I am the queen of multitasking. I like to be keeping myself busy, but honestly, this exam is just too important to risk not spending enough time on or risk just having my attention taken away. So I really have been focusing for some background for people who don't know me. I'm a student actuary. I've got one exam left out of the 13 professional exams you need to pass to qualify as an actuary. This particular exam I've sat once before earlier this year and I failed it. I am desperate, desperate, desperate to qualify because I've been working now for four years and I've been sitting exams for so long, every single year, literally since I was 16, sitting my GCSEs through to uni, through to then straight into professional exams. And honestly, I'm feeling the burnout. I need a break from studying and exams. And my only way out is to pass this exam and qualify as an actuary. So that is the goal. It's a single paper. It's my first actuarial exam sitting where I'm only taking one paper, which has made things easier. I've been able to focus all of my revision on just the stuff I need to know for this paper. It's the general insurance pricing paper on all things pricing general insurance policies. So your motor insurance that you might buy, how might we price that? What factors go into determining the premium that you are quoted? That's what this exam is all about. And lots of other statistical modeling stuff, reinsurance pricing, credibility theory. And then it covers things like aggregate claims distributions and reviewing the pricing of past business, past profitability, and how that might flow into the pricing of new business. But it requires quite a lot of general insurance industry awareness understanding of all the different lines of business you can get, your commercial lines, your personal lines, the risk factors for those different lines of business, what sort of risk exposures you have, how you might model catastrophes like hurricanes, earthquakes, emerging risks like cyber insurance risks. There's just a lot to it and I am not a pricing specialist. I have never worked a day in general insurance pricing in my life. I work in general insurance, but generally in reserving mostly with a few other peripheral bits on the side, but never pricing. And unfortunately, a lot of people who are also sitting this exam, each sitting, do work full time in pricing and have worked full time in pricing for four years or more. And so this is assessing them on stuff they do day in, day out. And then there's little old me who has never had hands-on experience of this stuff. So I am solely relying on the course notes and my past paper practice. And for all of those reasons, I can kind of see why I might have failed last sitting. In hindsight, I probably didn't do enough practice papers. I've fixed that this time. I've done lots of practice papers, but I am feeling worried because I have marked my own past paper practice and I'm not quite getting the scores that I want to be getting. I'm either scraping a pass or failing them sometimes. Even the paper I attempted yesterday under exam conditions, I failed that, which is not filling me with confidence because the exam's tomorrow, by the way. Did I mention that? Yeah, we're now at nearly 1 p.m. on Monday. The exam is at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. But also I've got to bear in mind that these exams are so subjective. Maybe I'm just being a harsh marker on myself. You never know. And maybe the adrenaline of the exam will get me writing faster and thinking of more points. I don't know. I'm just praying for a miracle right now because I really want to get through this exam. So fun fact, I actually haven't left the house since Friday. It is now Monday. That is not healthy, everyone. I don't recommend that. I don't know how it happened. So this morning I've been a bit worried because I'm worried I'm gonna burn myself out before the exam. I started studying early this morning while eating my breakfast and I just had this headache when I was looking at my screen. And so 
I decided I just need to take it easy for the rest of the morning. So I have not done much study this morning since then. I've just had a shower, tidied the house a little bit, straightened my hair to make myself feel better. <laughs> and I'm about to take myself out to grab an iced latte. I just need a little bit of a stroll, a little bit of stretching of the legs, just a little bit of a reset to give me a little bit of energy for the final push, the final cram this afternoon and this evening. So yeah, I'm heading out, heading out the house, let's go. <laughs> grabs a decaf iced latte from Fitzbillies. I realised caffeine was probably a bad idea because I'm already feeling a little bit on edge, a little bit nervy today. I don't need those additional jitters so yeah it's a, a gorgeous gorgeous day. Summer has returned. I did put the heating on in my house earlier this week because I was getting so cold while I was studying. <laughs> We are back at the desk. I am refreshed. I am ready to go. It's 10 to 2, so getting later on in the day, really need to get going. This is another little treat that I picked up in Fitzbillies. It's a cinnamon croissant bun, I think they called it. It smells great. I've just popped it in the microwave. I'm looking forward to that. And the strategy is to update my notes doc which i've currently got up on screen and my notes doc is supposed to summarize answers from those of different past papers that i've attempted and it's my central sheet of notes that i reference during the exam if i forget anything or need to prompt my memory i've done quite a few past papers now so this summary notes doc has reached a very large amount of words i will give you five seconds now to have a little guess how many words are in my summary note stock for the exam have a guess what do you think the word count is okay well the answer is thirty-eight thousand three hundred and sixty-five words thirty-eight thousand over thirty-eight thousand words in my summary doc <laughs> the good news is though is it's very well bookmarked so i can navigate to the part of the document that i need to get to quickly i'm pretty familiar with actually what's in it because i've made the document myself I can use the search functionality in Microsoft Word. So I think it's hopefully going to be a valuable resource in the exam and I wanna make sure it's complete. So that is the focus of today. I'm not doing any more past papers now. I was planning on it until my little headache situation this morning and I just thought, let's not push myself. I've done a fair number of past papers already. I could try and predict the topics that are gonna come up in the paper, but I feel I may get it wrong, so. I don't think I'm gonna try and do that. I'm just gonna try and cover the whole course and hope for the best. Okay everyone, I have just grabbed some food. I am still on the HelloFresh hype and this is reheated Cajun chicken and mash, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> Quite pleased I cooked last night so I don't have to worry about cooking this evening. I literally stuck this in the microwave for five minutes. <laughs> and obviously I'm eating at my desk. This whole evening is going to be spent looking through notes, but I'm gonna try get to bed at a reasonable time because I need to be well rested for tomorrow morning and I don't wanna be doing any work tomorrow morning if I can help it, just so I'm fresh at 10 o'clock when the exam starts. Let the cramming continue, guys. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 
everyone. The day has arrived and let's just get this thing done, you know? I've got seven minutes, everything is set up. I think I'm a little bit more organized than I have been in some recent sittings where I've been rushing in the last five minutes to have everything set up. But today, exam platform is up. All my notes documents are up to refer to. I've got my online course notes there. They have been glitching, but I think I fixed the glitch by using the online version rather than the app. So I'm gonna hope that works. Calculator just in case, but I normally use a spreadsheet for my calculations. My notes, I made a list of all the topics that came up in last time's paper. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this, but it struck me as quite a good idea to slightly anticipate what they're gonna ask me about. So I think, Here's me predicting the future like a true actuary would. GLMs, credibility theory, anything on reinsurance, whether that's reinsurance pricing or planning a reinsurance program, assessing profitability or investigations, aggregate claims distributions, any of those. They're all kind of quite common question types that didn't come up last sitting. Credibility theory hasn't come up for a while, like definitely not in the last two sittings and it normally averages about once a year. So I reckon they're gonna ask me a credibility theory question, which is why I've been reading over it this morning. Anyway, also got my prompts of ideas, lots of um, acronyms that used to be useful in the days of closed book exams, but are still useful as a memory jogger. Tables in case I need to look up any statistical distributions. For example, I might have to do a chi-squared test, at which point I need to look up percentage points in a chi-squared distribution. There you go, percentage points in a chi-squared distribution. But I'd say overall, this gets a lot less use than it used to get in the early actuarial exams, which are much more maths heavy. That's it, phone is at the ready. I'm just gonna get my timer ready because I set a timer on my phone. I actually set the timer for three hours, 10 minutes, because the exam is three hours, 20, but I like to give myself a bit of warning so that I have time to upload to the exams platform, exit the final before the end of the exam, etc, etc. I am going to time myself minutes per mark. That's the one thing I'm being so strict on today because it's the one thing that's under my control. New strategy that I'm implementing this time because it worked for SA3 last time and I didn't do it in my last sitting for SPA. And it is starting with the last question in the paper first because the last question is normally worth the most marks and then I will work backwards through the paper. So I do not want to be under a time crunch, which I often am, and missing out on the big mark questions. That would be bad. Anyway, we've got three minutes, so <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking to you. Let's just see how it goes, you know. I've put some work in, I've tried to position myself in as best a place as I possibly can to give myself the most chance of passing this exam, but there are factors outside of my control, you know? We'll see. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness me, I've done it. I've just submitted. That's it. Oh God, I am so relieved. I just feel relieved to be done. That is the overriding emotion right now. I don't know. I don't know how it went. I don't feel devastated at the end of the paper. A lot of my predictions were cracked. What can I say? Mystic Meg here, <laughs> just knew what was coming up. They asked me a Bulm and Straub credibility question, which I was revising this morning because I was like, they haven't asked this in a couple of years, over two years. I just feel like it's gonna come up and it came up. And I did panic, let me tell you, I panicked when I saw the question, but actually I looked at it a little bit longer and I recognized that it was similar to a past paper question I'd done. And then I just had this brainwave midway through the question. I just couldn't understand how it was supposed to be expecting me to get to the answer. And then suddenly I realized halfway through it and it's just such a good feeling when you're like, oh my God, obviously that's what I need to do. So yeah, the calculation questions I felt went quite well. Touch wood. If I made no calculation errors and I was doing them at speed, so probably made one or two calculation errors, but at least there's method marks there. So quite pleased with those. Answered every question, more or less stuck to time, more or less. Yeah. Gosh, we're done. Goodbye exam paper.
And just for a laugh, here are my Google searches during the exam, which is open book, by the way, so it's allowed. Mean exceeds median. What skew is this? Because I always get mixed up between positive and negative skew. And I also wondered, what's a cyclone? So I wanted to make sure I got the definition correct. Honestly, it's been such a stressful week or so in the lead up to this exam and I'm just so pleased to be free of it. You do get into the swing of it when the actual exam happens. I was a bit worried about my ability to stay focused for three hours, 20 minutes. I always struggle with past papers, but there's something about it being the actual exam that makes me just lock in and think, okay, this is it let's go i did have my tables book out i was actually looking at moment generating functions for a couple of distributions so that was good hopefully that got me two marks do you know i've done my best i've shown all of the revision i've done if it's not enough it's not enough it's fine but i honestly i deserve a break now regardless of this exam outcome i really do unfortunately i need to work <laughs> this afternoon on client work my brain is feeling pretty fried right now so hopefully they're not going to expect too much of me but i need to reach out to one of my senior colleagues as they ask for my help this afternoon but i won't be working too late i need to take a break now anyway a break is definitely needed now i'm going to take a lunch break go outside get some fresh air go for a walk and then i've got ice skating lesson this evening and then i am seeing friends this evening for a bit of nintendo switch gaming so yeah and it is a week later and i am in a very sunny crete on holiday with my family taking a week off work after a very intense few months of study and work and I'm enjoying myself very much. I have not checked my work email, just switching off, reading a book via pool, enjoying Greek food, got a new appreciation for Greek food this week. I actually don't get my exam results until December, so just not thinking about exams for the next few months at all, just getting on with my work, getting on with my secondment once I'm back from holiday. And yeah, thanks for watching though. Please do give the video a like, comment down below if you've had exams recently too, and let me know how you got on. And yeah, let me know what sort of content you want to see in the next few months. I will be posting more frequently and also posting on my Instagram and TikTok, so follow me over there. Feeling a lot less stressed now than I was at the start of the video.